vegetables with your dinner. I'm not going to grandma. I hate my broccoli and I'm not going to eat it. So I'm going to go and play with Nelson. That grandson of mine, he's just temperamental and he will not eat his vegetables. I'm sick of him saying, I not eat my vegetables, because that's what he always says. I bet you're wondering where Sam is tonight. Well, turns out that grandson of mine, he don't like eating his vegetables. So I thought I'd teach him a lesson. You see? Vegetables, especially broccoli, are good for you. And I was trying to teach him that. Now, I was going to knit something, but I just found this here sock on the table. Would you know where it was? Uh, you might be looking for it. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, since Sam has been a bit of a downer today, and he left on Nelson, today we're going to read my favorite story I used to read my grandson. Monsters Don't Eat Broccoli. Now this book is by Barbara Jen Hicks and illustrated by Sue Hendra. And let me tell you, it's also published by Dragonfly Books. Now, if monsters can eat broccoli, I'm sure my grandson Sam can too. His horsey Nelson does, so I figure he can too. Now come on in and we're going to read this story. Monsters don't eat broccoli. Now, I just realized how impolite it probably was to tell you that Sam was gone but not introduce myself. <laughs> my name is Granny May, and I i don't know if you can tell by my eyes, because they say me and my grandson have the same eyes, that my grandson is Sam, Sheriff Sam, and he's apparently trying to have people tell his nickname is Super Awesome Sam. He's got some work to do according to his granny. So today we're going to read Monsters Don't Eat Broccoli because my grandson is not eating his broccoli. And you got to eat broccoli and vegetables to make you grow strong and healthy. That's right. I eat broccoli every day. Sometimes steamed broccoli, sometimes steamed cauliflower, and sometimes even some boiled cabbage with butter and salt. That's my favorite. We grow our own vegetables on the farm. That's right. All right. So, without further ado, we're going to read Monster Don't Eat Broccoli. I hope you enjoy. I'll turn it. They told me to turn it so I could show you the picture. So, I'll, sh I'll show you. All right. Oh, goodness. This looks like a fab restaurant. A fab restaurant. That's what kids these days are saying. Fab for fabulous, I guess. The waitress in this restaurant just doesn't have a clue. Monsters don't eat broccoli. How could she think we do? Well, they probably should eat some. We'd rather snack on tractors. Three for two tractors. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> If you work on a farm, you know how expensive tractors are. Or a rocket ship or two. Or tender trailer tidbits. That's pretty cool. Or a wheelie steely stew. They're eating wheels, get it? <laughs> you know, Sam left this out for me once to read, and I'm just am enjoying it. I hope you are, too. <laughs> Fun fo fi Monsters don't eat broccoli. Well, they probably should. <laughs> That's probably not very good for them. Monsters don't eat broccoli or artichokes or greens. We can abide alfalfa sprouts or slimy lima beans. Now, have any of you ever tried those? Who here's tried broccoli? That's good. What about artichokes or greens? I have too. And what about alf alfalfa sprouts? Sometimes, if you get Chinese food, it's in Chinese food sometimes. Or stir fry. Yeah, that's right. 
or slimy lima beans. Now that's where I draw the line. I cannot handle slimy lima beans. But redwoods are delectable. Now those kind of look like what? Broccoli, that's right. But they're trees. And boulders, what a treat. Oh, that, 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 that's what I probably shouldn't have eaten that one day when I picked up off the ground. I thought it was an apple. <laughs> it was a giant rock. Sam had given it to me for a gift, and I thought it was an apple. It was painted red. <laughs> Silly Sam. And a fountain so refreshing in this dreadful summer heat. Fum, fo, fi, fi. Monsters don't eat broccoli. Look at that ice cream truck. We get those sometimes out here on the farm. <laughs> We're crazy for construction. Oh, goodness. And we crave our fish and chips. Get it? Chips instead of chips. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. But monsters don't eat broccoli. It will not pass our lips. Oh. You cannot force us monsters to eat vegetables we hate. Let humans have the garden. We will eat the garden gate. Foam, fo, five feet. Monsters don't eat broccoli. Monsters love a picnic on a blanket in the park with a clump of giant maples and their yummy, gummy bark. See, it kind of looks like broccoli, but they're trees. Fum, fo, fi, you're chowing down on broccoli. Uh-oh, they look worried. <laughs> Say what? This isn't broccoli, it's crunchy, munchy trees. And wow, they're delicious. Now the kids are eating those, but they're pretending that they're eating the trees, get it? They're pretending they're like monsters. <laughs> Another helping, please. See, they drew all the pictures like they were the di the monsters. The end. So in the end, did the monsters try the broccoli? That's right. And I think maybe if you try some vegetables too, you'd like them. And sometimes you can even make a dip for them or eat them raw. They're just good for you and they make you nice, grow nice and strong. I hope you all enjoyed our story today. Remember, my name's Granny May, and I hope you enjoyed our story. I promise I'll try and get Sam back for our next story time. I think he just loves reading to you guys. Have a great day, and remember, be kind and eat your broccoli. Bye, Broncos.